And we're back in Teleport. In this video, we won't be working in the canvas. We'll be taking a look at our code. To do that, let's click on the code button on the top right side of the platform. Since we've already built things inside our project, the code panel has already been populated with our generated code. By default, the generators are set to display our UIDL in React.js format. If you want to take a look under the hood, we've got an open source GitHub repo that I'll link to in the description. Now let's get back to our code. We can change the format of the code into many other flavors of JavaScript. We've got React, Vue, Preact, Stencil, Angular, React Native and even our own UIDL. Along with that, there are multiple ways to structure the CSS of a project. Since there's no best way of doing it, we've added most of them to let you decide which one you want. We have inline styling, CSS modules, plain CSS, styled components, styled JSX and React JSS. Now, if we open the files panel, on the left side of the canvas, we can see that whatever is selected here, is represented in code in the code panel. So if we select our component, the code for that will be shown here. If we select our page again, we get the code for that. If we want to quickly take this code somewhere else, we have a copy button over here. Furthermore, we can even export this code with the use of the export button. Let's go ahead and click it. As we can see, we have multiple choices we can pick from. After we've selected our choice, we can continue work on our project on Code Sandbox, or we can take the project to GitHub once we've set the GitHub token, under hosting in our project settings. Finally, we also have the option to download a zip file of our entire project to our local storage by clicking on the zip file icon. That's it for the code. See you in the next video where we'll go over how to publish our project with a single click.